Hey guys, how's it going? So if you are brand new to Final Cut Pro and you're just wondering how to use this software, what it's all about, you're a little bit intimidated by editing softwares, well, you have come to the right place. This is ground zero tutorial for getting started in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna walk through the very, very basics and get you all set up, ready to go. So I have previously made a Final Cut Pro beginner tutorial, and while many people found it very helpful, there were definitely a selection of people who found it way too fast, and it wasn't helpful for them. So as a former high school teacher, this is not acceptable. I definitely wanna be catering to all levels of learners here, so it's time to create a new one. So this is truly from the beginning, breaking down only the most important sections of Final Cut Pro clearly and in detail. I'm not going to take 20 to 30 minutes explaining all the tools that you won't need right away. I'm only going to be focused on the absolute most important parts in this tutorial. All right, first things first, if you don't yet have the software, go to apple.com and download the free 90 day trial. That's a good length of time to see if you like this program. So this is what it looks like when we open Final Cut Pro. There is nothing here, it's all empty, empty spaces. Here are the sections that you'll eventually see information in. First thing we'll do is go to File, New, Library. And you can just label this anything you want. Once we have that, we'll go down to that event with the date on it. And right here, this is where we'll import our media. So we'll find the clips that we want to use for this video. I found these three and just drag them into our player. All right, so here's our event and this is our media. Now we can change the look of that, have a list, or we can have our previews. I personally like the previews better. So that way you can kind of scrub through each clip and see what's in them. All right, now we want to make a new project. Click new project, name it whatever you want. We'll call it New York, since these are New York clips. And you can leave them there. And here you can select the quality. You have 4K if you have 4K footage, but 1080p ends up being a smaller file and it's great. All right, now we want to bring our files into our timeline. So you can drag one of them and drop it into the timeline, or you can actually just get select all of them and drop them down into the timeline. So if we want to watch our footage in the timeline, we just hit spacebar and that stops and starts our clips and we can preview it that way. Now to zoom in and make our timeline bigger, we can just expand it with our mouse, our trackpad, by spreading our fingers apart, or by hitting command plus or command minus to pop in and out. So here are our tools, the drop down menu of the tools. We'll be using blade the majority of the time. So that's B if you want to switch to the blade tool, but it's easier just to hit command B. Command B and that'll split the clips and then you can discard by hitting delete the other clips. So I'm going to use that little section, hit command B again, discard that clip. And now we'll do the same thing here, but there's another way we can do it. We can just say if we like that section or don't like that section, we can drag that over and keep the amount we want. And that's the same idea as blade, as cutting. So I like that much of that clip. Command B, discard that. And here we go, we've got three clips. I'm gonna pinch in, zoom in, so I can see them more clearly. I've got the three clips I'd like to work with. Now in the middle, we can put a transition. So right here, you'll see that's the transition toolbar. So here under here, we have lots of different transitions we can select from. However, let's keep it basic today. We'll go to dissolve and use a cross dissolve. Use click and drag, drop it. And there you have one clip dissolving to the next clip. Super easy to use. And it's one of the more frequently used transitions. All right, next we're just gonna try a different one. It's a blur, directional blur. Let's take, take a look. And there you go, it's another transition style. Now, as a beginner, I would refrain from using too many transitions as it can really make your project look quite tacky and distract the viewers from what you're trying to get across. But if you feel like you like it and it's tasteful, then go ahead. All right, so here we have the effects toolbar. And if you just click under the search menu, I'm just gonna click a random one called photo recall and you'll see the effect it has on the clip. And there's a wide variety of effects we can use. However, this is just an example. You can play through those effects have a look at them and see, see which ones you like. Under the inspection sidebar, you can see how you can adjust the settings. And we're gonna hide that and we're gonna go into colors and adjust the color of our clips. Here's the basic default setting of colors and we won't go in depth, but here's the basics. 
exposure the whole, the whole clip. This is the shadow exposure up and down. That's how you do a basic contrast. Raise the highlights and drop the shadows. Double click on each to reset it. And same thing with saturation. Here's saturating the shadows. Double click the reset. Here's saturating the highlights. So it's just that easy. And then also we have something in color where we can adjust the colors of the shadows, midtones, and highlights. But for now, we'll just ignore that as that's more technical. So we'll stick to exposure and saturation for now. That's it for colors. All right, we'll do one more transition and we'll just include a fade out. That's a nice way to end your video. So we can actually extend that fade by just dragging on that transition. And now we wanna add some music. Obviously audio is a huge part of editing and I'm gonna show you where I get all of my non-copyright sounds for my videos. They will never get copyright strike. You can use them on Instagram, I'm on YouTube and you'll never have the sounds disappear or get taken down because they're all fully licensed. Let me show you. So I use a service called Epidemic Sound. So I'm just gonna log in here and show you just how easy it is to use. So if you click search and you wanna use my personal songs, my playlist, just type in Mark Harrison. And here's the playlist that I've curated. And I have some of my favorite songs I use to edit on there. However, if you just wanna browse the normal features, you can search through genres or moods. I'm just gonna select Dreamy for an example. And then I can even narrow my search in by selecting Epic and that will show the number of songs that have those types of vibes for your edit. So I'm just gonna sample a few now. So if you like the song, then you can download it by clicking this button right here, download the full mix, and that will show up in your downloads folder. If you want a seven day free trial of Epidemic Sound, you can download as many songs as you want, completely copyright free, check the link in my description. Once you've located your song, drag it into your editor, same thing, once it's in your media files, you just drag it onto your timeline or below your timeline. Cut it at the end by hitting Command B once your song is selected. Delete the remainder. And now we have a song attached to our video. All right, so next up we wanna add sound effects. Now if you click this middle section here, you just, in the search bar, you can just search any sort of sound effects. So let's go city sound effect. And here are some samples of different sounds from the city. All right, so I'm going to use city five. I like that sound the best. And I'm going to just use a portion of it. And same thing, just drag it under your clip where the sound effects go. Now we have sound and you'll notice that the sound effect is very loud. So the way to adjust that volume is up here in our inspector or just drag the volume down where you see the waveforms on the clip. Both work. All right, next we wanna add a title by clicking on the T there. Then you go to the search bar again, type in basic. And that is the easiest title for us to use. Just click and drag, drop it on top of the clip this time and drag it to fit the size. And now we'll go to our inspector by clicking on the, the paragraph looking lines. Type in the text we wanna use, I'll just type in New York. And then select the font, I'm actually happy with that font. You can change the style as well if you want, and the size, and then you can just drag the text to the middle or to wherever you want. Now we have text on our video as well, let's take a look at the sample, looks great. Okay, let's cut our text in half by clicking Command B, which splits the title, and just rename the second half. And we can type in something like summer, for example, and that kind of gives more description of, of our video. New York summer. Great, those are the basic tools. Now that's all that's left is to export. So let's go up to File, Share, Master File, and we can kind of scrub through our video there by looking at the thumbnail, then just hit next, or you can name it, and then we're finished. All right, if that was easy for you to follow and you understand the basic structure of Final Cut Pro and you wanna learn more and more in depth, then check out my next tutorial, which is still a level one beginner tutorial, but it's a follow along tutorial where I provide the video clips for you and together we edit a vertical Instagram story. In that tutorial, we go in much more detail. I show you how to properly structure your folders, speed up and slow down clips, create different aspect ratios, transform footage, and much more. So if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next tutorial.